Hi, Josh here, and you're watching 610 Bob's Overview, where I give you a brief tour of my latest finished project. In the process of upgrading my parents' company servers, I found myself in a small office with a very hot, very loud server rack. Moving the server wasn't an option. My brother came up with the idea of water cooling the servers. Stupid idea, but I kind of liked it. So I started to make a cooling system that would go into the bottom of the rack, mounting the same way a server would. However, I ran into a bunch of problems trying to get everything to fit. Then my dad suggested putting the radiator in the basement. Now this idea isn't as crazy as it may sound. It actually solved a lot of problems that I had. For example, the fan. I was having problems sourcing a small 12 inch fan. But with the radiator in the basement, I could just use a normal car radiator fan. Loud, but very effective. It also solves a big problem with heat. Our office is conditioned via a geothermal heat pump. This heat pump was not designed to cool the office with three people in it, three computers, seven monitors, and five servers. Being able to dump the heat into the basement reduces the load on our poor little heat pump, but it also has a weird side effect. Because the air in the basement is cooler than the house and significantly cooler than the air in the office, the CPUs in the servers are actually a lot cooler than they would be if the radiator was just in the office. This system is supplying multiple servers. So a manifold is necessary to split up the water and send it to each server. I used an in-floor radiant heat manifold as the supply manifold for two reasons. First, it was free as it was sitting in our garage collecting dust. Second, it has proportioning valves that allow me to adjust the flow for each computer. The return manifold is just 3 quarter inch copper. It contains ball valves. These valves, plus the proportioning valves in the supply manifold, allow me to isolate each circuit in case I need to disconnect the server from the system. To connect the server to the radiator, I used Fosta packs. I use this because it is flexible, but it also has an oxygen barrier. The radiator was originally for a small engine, and like I stated earlier, the fan is a 12 inch car radiator fan. The pump is just a water circulating pump that was in our garage. I installed flow sensors after the supply manifold outputs and temperature probes on the return manifold inputs and right before the supply manifold. However, I have not finished the monitoring system yet, so expect a video on this system when I am finished building it. And that's it. Be sure to check out the build videos that go along with this project. There, I explain in a lot more detail how I built the water-cooled server rack. You can either click one of the pictures around me or watch the whole playlist. I will be releasing the videos on a weekly basis, so if the video you want to watch isn't there yet, subscribe! That way you'll be notified the moment it comes out. 